Write the fraction in lowest terms. Okay, let's take a closer look at that one. Well, let's split this up so maybe it's a little bit easier to see. So I've got the x's in their own little column there, the u's in their own column, and the numbers as well. Let's start with the numbers. We got 36 over 81. So we can simplify these by dividing them or even by finding all the factors of these and then canceling them out, whatever. Uh, both of these are divisible by 3 at least, though. And when we do that, we get 12 over mm -hmm, 27. Yeah. Oh, I guess both of them were divisible by 9. That's okay. So divisible by 3 again. And we get 4 over 9. That's our number right there. So in the final expression, we'll have 4 ninths. Let's look at our x's now, though. If I have x to the power of 5 over x, using the exponent rules, right? We got x to the power of 5 minus 1 because that exponent of the x in the denominator is 1. That gives us x to the power of 4. So that will be in our numerator. And the u's, we have u to the power of 3 over u to the power of 2. So that's really u to the power of 3 minus 2, which is u to the power of 1. u to the power of 1. You don't have to show that power of 1 on the test, but if you want to, you can. And that would be our simplest form of this expression. Using a different problem, right? If we had something like, I don't know, v, v to the power of 5 times v to the power of 8. If we expanded these, we would find that we would just be adding the exponents. And that's v to the power of 13. Focusing just on the x's, uh, this would be 5x's being multiplied together, like this. And it would be divided by the 1x in the denominator. These x's, they just cancel each other out and become a 1. Now we have a base value of x, and we have 4 of them. So it's just easier. You, you can do it like this on the test. You're not required to use the exponent rules. So if it helps you just to expand them like this, please do it, because it's not a bad thing. The reason is because these x's that were left over were in the top, or the numerator, so they will stay there. So if they were originally on the bottom in the equation, would you put them on the bottom? That's correct. Yep. Uh, you'll learn more about that later, I think in 980.